Hey, hey. I'm talking with my mom friends from kindergarten about going on a trip. I was wondering if you'd be interested, Olivia. We're thinking of doing it after the graduation ceremony. A trip? Sounds great. I would love to join. That's wonderful. By the way, who's in the group? I invited almost all of our mom friends from kindergarten, so it looks like we'll have around 30 people, including us. Wow, that's a lot of people. We need to have fun too, don't we? So, who's going to organize it since there are so many people? With such a large group, it might be better to have a few people organize it together. Since I was the one who came up with the idea, I'll be the organizer. Huh? We'll do it alone, Ava? Are you saying you don't trust me? No, I'm just worried that it might be too difficult for one person. If you want, I can help you. No, no, it's okay. I really want to do it alone this time. I see. Well, if you're doing it, that's a relief, but... Okay. I'll let you know the details on the group WhatsApp chat. Okay, thanks for your help. Six months later. Hey, there's something I'm a little curious about. Can I ask you about it? Huh? What is it? The other day, I saw you walking with a young man. I hope I'm not mistaken, but you're not cheating, right? Is the young man you're talking about tall, blonde, handsome guy? Yeah, his hair was blonde, so I think so. Oh, him. No, I'm not cheating. Actually, I've been really into clubbing for a while now. I met him at a club, and he's been taking me out on dates lately and I've been spending a lot of money on him. Money is definitely the best. <laughs> Did you start working too? No, I'm still a full-time housewife. Your finances seem to have improved a lot lately. Did something happen? It seems like you're wearing more expensive things too. Well, it's just extra income. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but you're not using our trip savings, right? No, no, no. I'm not doing anything like that. Then where are you getting the money for clubbing and buying luxury goods? It's just extra income. I can't tell you the details. <laughs> if you can't tell me, does that mean you're actually using our trip savings? No, that's not it. Don't doubt me based on pure speculation. Oh, uh, I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Don't worry, our savings are stored safely. So you can be rest assured. Okay, then please report to me each time you make payments to the travel agency, okay? Yes, of course. A few months later. Hey, when I checked with the travel agency, they said that our reservation wasn't even made. What's going on? Did you confirm directly with them? Well, even after urging them multiple times, they wouldn't tell me the details, so I'm curious too. Maybe they've even embezzled their savings. What's the real situation? I've been meaning to call the travel agency to make a reservation, but I didn't have time to call them. But there's only a month left until the trip. And there's a lot of people, so if you don't book early, the hotels might be full. Or is it already too late? Yeah. It might be too late already. <laughs> Shall we cancel the trip then? Just kidding, just kidding. I'll make the reservations today, so don't worry. I also asked the travel agency to keep an eye on it just in case. Really? I'm serious. I'll contact you later in the group chat. Afterwards. Hey, about tomorrow's mom friend's trip, there's something I have to apologize for. I was just about to contact you too. Huh? Did you need something from me? First, can you tell me what you need to talk about? Well, first, please don't get mad and just listen to me. Whether I get mad or not depends on what you say, doesn't it? It seems like everyone was looking forward to tomorrow's small friend's trip, weren't they? Yes, I was looking forward to it too. We were planning quite a luxurious trip, weren't we? As I thought, I did something that I'm really sorry for. So, what happened? 
I spent all $20,000 of our savings on clubbing, so we have to cancel the mom friend's trip tomorrow. Make sure to contact the travel agency. I'm actually on the phone with your husband right now about this. Huh? Stop it! Please don't tell my husband. I'm going to focus on the call. I'll contact you later. Wait a minute! I don't want my husband to find out. I didn't even mention the clubbing incident to him. 30 minutes later. Your husband has agreed to pay to the savings account including cancellation fees. Of course, I think the bill will go to you, Ava. What did you talk to my husband about? Did you mention going to the club? Of course. Your husband was wondering what you spent $20,000 on. I told him that you've been into clubs for a long time and have even put our savings into a guy you met at a club. It's over. If he finds out that I go to the clubs and spent my husband's money on a man from the club, it's no good. It seems like your husband knew that you had been spending his money without his permission. So you deliberately kept it a secret? I don't know about that since I didn't ask your husband, but it seems like he didn't know about your club activities. Well, you can't talk about the club activities. You may not be having an affair, but you're definitely seeing a man. But when I was on WhatsApp, I was talking to my husband, and it seemed like he knew that I had been embezzling money from the savings account for a long time now. One of our travel group's mom friends saw you at a luxury brand store holding a bag full of the trip savings money. She just happened to see you shopping with a guy from the club. I've got the pictures to prove it. What? We made sure to have our dates in a faraway location so we wouldn't be caught. There are 31 members of the group besides you, Ava. With that many people, you don't know who's watching where. If I have to pay the money back, I won't be able to go to the club anymore. First of all, shouldn't you apologize? What you did was a serious crime. A crime? It's just a little trouble among my friends. It's not a crime. What you did was embezzlement, which is a crime. If we filed a complaint, you would go to the police. You're not really going to sue me, are you? Since we're getting the money back, we won't file a complaint. But I'm going to stay away from you in the future. What? Of course. You embezzled our money and you thought we could continue a relationship as usual? But I planned the trip for everyone. I arranged meetings with a travel company and I collected the money. That's why you volunteered to be in charge and suggested the trip in the first place, just to get your hands on our money. Why do you think that? Ava, you're the type who doesn't like to do things like being a coordinator. According to other mom friends, it seems like you got hooked on the club a few months ago when you suggested a trip. Was it because of the timing? Well, it's not wrong. So you're not denying it? Even if I deny it, you'll see right through it, won't you? Olivia, you have a strange sense of intuition. But why did you properly go through with the travel agency? If you weren't going in the first place, you shouldn't have made a reservation. Eventually, there's going to be extra cancellation fees and things like that. But he kept urging me to make a reservation, saying when will I do it? The other mom friends also asked to see proof that I made a reservation. I had no choice but to book it. I was planning to quietly cancel it before any cancellation fees were incurred, but I forgot to cancel it because I was busy. So you were too busy with your club visits, huh? I'm not doing anything wrong by going to the club. The club is my stress relief. I'm not denying your right to go to the clubs, but it's not right to play with other people's money. Also, I think it's strange to spend the money that your husband worked hard to earn on guys at the clubs. If you want to play, why not earn your own money? Wouldn't that be better? If I work part-time, I wouldn't earn much. So, it's faster to gather a large sum of money from the mom friends, isn't it? How low can you go, Ava? You're the worst. You really lack common sense. I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. Fine, then I won't talk to you anymore either. Don't even speak to me if you see me. I don't mind if you don't talk to me, but you should return the money to your husband. Mind your own business. Don't contact me again. 
a few days later. What should I do? My husband found out about my affair. Ava, I thought we weren't going to talk anymore. That's not the point. Anyway, I want you to listen to me. Why me? Are you sure you're talking to the right person? I messaged the other mom friends too, but no one responded. I see. So you messaged the other mom friends the same thing? Yes, but you were the only one who replied. I didn't mean to reply. Well, I don't want to be involved with any trouble, so excuse me. Wait a minute! There's something I really want you to hear. Is it important? It's super important to me. Please, just listen. It can't be helped, huh? Okay, I'll listen, but I don't think I can solve anything. Thank you. Like I said earlier, my husband found out that I'm having an affair. An affair? Is the other guy from the club? Did you two have a physical relationship? Yes. I paid him a lot of money so we started going to hotels together. Of course, I paid him each time. I don't think he's serious about you, Ava. But having a physical relationship with him would be considered cheating. Is that so? But how did your husband find out about the hotel visits? Did you tell him? Of course not. He had been suspicious of me for a while. He hired a detective to investigate my affair. That's why I didn't tell him about the money. I think he was just trying to keep me in the dark. I see. So that's what happened. When I asked you about the club guy earlier, I guess the detective hadn't found anything yet. That seems to be the case. I never thought I would be investigated too. What are you going to do about your husband? I don't want to get a divorce, but he's insisting on it. He took the children to his parents' house just now. He even left the divorce papers. The house is in his name, so if we get divorced, I'll have to leave. Is that so? What do you think should I do from now on? If you don't want a divorce, why don't you go to your in-laws and try to persuade your husband? That's impossible. It seems like he's already talked to both sets of parents and they all seem to support the divorce. I just got a call from my parents earlier saying, cut ties with scumbags like you. It's not surprising. Your parents also know that you embezzled the travel savings of 30 mom friends and went clubbing with it? It seems like my husband told them when he reported on the divorce. He replaced the money at the time, but my parents agreed to pay him back. What kind parents? They're not kind at all. As a result, they cut ties with me. I don't think it's unreasonable. I think normal parents would want to cut ties with someone who embezzled their own money. But they could have been a little more supportive of me. I'm also a victim. I don't have a big enough heart to side with someone who steals money like a cheapskate. It's going to be tough from now on, but hang in there. Wait a minute. If I leave it like this, it will be irreparable. If we end up divorcing because of infidelity, won't he demand compensation? That's probably true. After all, Ava, you cheated, so you're at fault. What can you do? How can I live if we get divorced? Is that okay with you? I don't know. If you don't want to be alone, why don't you ask your handsome boyfriend to support you? Since he received a lot of money from you, he should have some money, right? I never thought of that. I see. Should I ask him if we can live together? I said that as a joke, but do you really mean it? Thank you for the good advice. I'll ask him if we can live together right away. Really? Well, you can do whatever you want. 30 minutes later. Hey, listen to this. Even though I spoiled him so much, he said things like, I'm done with ladies who don't have money. And my husband said he was not planning to demand alimony from him either. But he's demanding as much alimony as he can from me. And he's telling me to pay back all the money I spent so far. Don't you think that's horrible of the two of them? Hey, don't you agree with me? I thought it was an urgent notification, but it's just you, Ava. I'm busy, you know. It's not like you have anything important to do, right? So listen to me. Can you stop it already? What do you think people's time is worth? Huh? Are you angry? 
Of course I'm angry. You're crazy for complaining to me in the first place. Do you even remember what you did? I'm reflecting on the savings issue, of course, but he got the money back from my husband, didn't you? Just because I got it back doesn't mean everything's okay. And besides, Ava, you didn't even return the money yourself, did you? And if you really regretted it, you wouldn't send this WhatsApp message, would you? But a lot of things were happening to me at the same time, and my head was confused. I couldn't take it anymore without someone listening to me. Being abandoned by your family and losing your friends, all of that was caused by your own actions, right, Ava? You understand that you're responsible for that, right? That may be true, but but that doesn't mean everyone should abandon me like this. Even he used to say I was the cutest among customers at the club, but suddenly, he turned his back on me like this. It's cruel. When I said I really want to get married, he said, if I have to marry an old hag like you, I'd rather stay single forever. That guy didn't like you, Ava. He just liked the fact that you spent money on him. Oh, that means he was after my money. That's right. Is there any other reason for him to be with an old lady like you other than money? How dare you? You don't have to go that far. I'm not like you guys. I go to an esthetician in the beauty salon every month, and I dress nicely. Don't compare me to you guys who run around almost without any makeup. If you get divorced, you won't be able to go to the beauty salon or esthetician anymore. I don't want that. If things continue like this, my husband might take away my parental rights. Then you'll also have to pay child support, right? In the first place, I've hardly worked since getting married. I tried working at a bakery once, but I couldn't keep up with the physical demands and quit. But you have no choice but to work, right? Your parents aren't helping you either. Then how about you help me, Olivia? Huh? Are you joking? I'm not joking. I'm actually serious. I just got ripped off for money recently and now you're asking me for a loan? Who in their right mind would lend you money? You're right. If you understand, then why did you even ask me in the first place? Anyway, I have a meeting with some mommy friends, so I really have to go now. A meeting? Now that I've finally gotten the money back from your husband, we're planning our trip again. That's not fair. I want to go on a mommy trip too. You're not coming with us. You should focus on solving your own problems before going on trips. I guess we won't be texting anymore, so I'll block you now. Goodbye. After that, it seems that Ava ended up divorcing her husband. Her husband demanded compensation for damages and repayment of the money that Ava had used without permission. And he was granted custody of their child, so Ava was ordered to pay child support. After the divorce, she moved out of the house she was living in and moved into a rundown apartment. She now works multiple part-time jobs and is struggling to make ends meet. She seems to be living day by day. Since this is all her own fault, it seems that there is no one to help her. Meanwhile, I have started planning another mommy friend's trip, and we happened to find a cheap and beautiful spa resort, so we decided to stay there. We plan to use the remaining funds from our savings for meals and souvenirs. From now on, we need to make sure that we don't have any more troubles like this, and we need to entrust the management of our money to someone we can trust.